Hello, Bill Hayes again. Today I'm going to be shooting one of my Hathcock target snipers. It's rigged up in a side shooting fashion here using my uh, universal fork tips. This is made out of ballistic uh, ballistic resins. as Kevlar uh, fibers embedded in the phenolic. And uh, this resin is so strong, it's almost bulletproof. I'm going to demonstrate that because I hung another one of these. It's a dark gray one there. It, uh, messed up a little bit in the casting process. This part right here didn't fill in and uh, didn't pass inspection. So I have a uh, I have another one in there and I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to use this half inch ammunition shot at about 200 feet per second. Then after this I'm going to get my rifle over there. I'm going to shoot it with, shoot it with my rifle and show you what, how tough these slingshots actually are. Do not try that with any other slingshot, shooting a slingshot on like that, because you will break it. This one, it just laughs at it. And when you buy one of these, don't shoot it either, because I don't want you, you know, putting little dinks in it or chipping the paint. That's just stupid. But you, you can refer to this video and you'll know. Another darn thing to it. Hit it again. I hit it again. No shatter, no nothing. It just laughs at it. And then again, I hit it right on the fork, that one. That was a good hit, right on the fork. And another one. Dead center, nothing to it. that slingshot whatsoever. It's just looking and in a good old town about it all. Right on the edge of that tip right there did nothing to it. Hit it right on the edge of the fork up there. Nothing at all to it. Right on the, the part that you would think is the weakest part, there's nothing to it. And hit it right on one of the little pieces right there. Alright, let's see what all that did to it here. Okay, as I was saying before, this one didn't pass, didn't pass uh, muster. It, this part right here didn't fill in. But as you can see, I hit it right here with a with a ball. Nothing at all to it. Just just the tiniest dent. Hit it right on the edges in here. You can't even see it, but it's but it was right there. Hit it right there. Hit it again right there. Let's see where else. Anyway, as you can see, it didn't do a darn thing to it. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to rehang this. See where where the, where this is hollow here. I'm going to rehang this. And I'm going to shoot it with my 22. I'll uh, turn this off for a second and then restart it. Okay. Okay. Now for the second part here. The slingshot's hung down there in the catch box. I'm going to take this rifle right here. This is just a 22 caliber rifle. I'm going to be using these uh, hollow points right here so that the uh, slingshot gets the entire impact of the, of the shot. As you can see, it's a little hollow point. I don't want anything ricochet or anything like that. I wanted them to have the entire impact. So we'll use hollow points on it. Put that in there. Alrighty.
see what we have here. That slingshot's over there. Another one just for the fun of it, we'll put another bullet in it too. Same time here, one more, just for a, just a good time set here. I'll load another one up in there. Ooh, good job. Alright. Walk over and get that. see the bullet hit right here and that's all it did to it it hit right here and just went right off the edge there and the second shot I don't even see where the second shot hit it must have hit right on the edge up here or something anyway oh I see where the second shot hit right there Look at that. There's a little bitty dentation right there. That's about it. Anyway, this is a, made out of ballistic resin. And of course, this was the one I told you screwed up, you know, in the casting so that it didn't fill this part in. And that's all it did to it. Do not try that with any other slingshot. You will mess them up real bad. Alright, thank you.